I just started reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I read the first one a couple of days ago, a few days ago. I've never read them before. I've seen the films, um, but I've never actually read the books before. Firstly, the books are so much more rich in detail. The characters are far more depth. There are so many scenes from the first book that's not in the first film. that I'm just kind of shocked they didn't put that into the film. So much better. The books are so much better. So many. There's so many differences that are vastly better than in, in the book. Um, and... You know, it doesn't really read like a children's book at all. I was reading it. It's kind of a little bit dark. Like, for example, in the Chamber of Secrets and the film, um, when Draco Malfoy's dad picks up Ginny's book and it's like, makes a comment about him being poor. Um, one's dad shows up and it's sort of after, like a one-on-one -on -one chit chat sort of thing and it's a bit uncomfortable. In the book, one's dad full on lumps on one, chucks him into the bookcase, um, comes away with a cut lip and Malfoy's dad comes away with a black eye from one of where the cold ones are dropped on his face. That is so much better um but it's not just that it's just the way it reads it's so easy it's sort of just like you just sort of get through it really quick i mean look i love books i'll, I'll show you um this is not there's like five percent of my collection i've got some books in here um that i need to get through that's a lion king book there um so you know most of my books are sort of very adult orientated in a way k Pax trilogy by the way Fucking brilliant. Um, Neil Gaiman's mythology, Norse mythology, really worth reading. Final 451, up until this point, used to be my favourite book, but now I think the Harry Potter series are. Um, really looking forward to reading through to get to the third one. Like, I'm trying to get through them quick because they're so fucking good. Uh, yeah, just wanted to, just wanted to talk about that.